Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun in Salt Lake City. Do, 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 do. The solar industry is the fastest growing industry today within uh, certain technological niches and knowing your solar potential before you invest in the system is really important. Solar panels are not the only part of solar. There's also solar water heat, solar air heat, and those things are very important. And knowing in advance uh, what a building's performance will be is, is the whole point of the Salt Lake City Solar website and we hope to be able to use it to, to craft policy to encourage solar power here in Salt Lake. Hi, I'm Kevin Bell, GIS coordinator for Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about GIS mapping today and uh, something that we did here in Salt Lake about the Salt Lake Solar Project. Geographic information systems is mapping uh, tied to databases, so you can actually do analysis against uh, spatial data. Um, this project that we did here, we had a, a plane fly over Salt Lake City and scan the city with a laser. So we've got a 3D laser scan. It's essentially uh, latitude, longitude, elevation points in a text file uh, 500 million times. So XYZ, XYZ. What you're looking at here is a color-coded description of uh, some of the downtown area. All these little points represent uh, the building heights and so they're color-coded to show different heights and a 2D view here from top and then over here we have a, the three-dimensional view that we can look at here and so what I was able to do with a help from uh, several people is uh, we generated the solar potential for every square meter of Salt Lake City uh, essentially by taking that three-dimensional model of the city and simulating the Sun moving through the sky we were able to calculate the uh, kilowatt hour per square meter. So if you go to the Salt Lake City uh, Sustainability's solar website, it's uh, www.slcgovsolar.com, you'll, you'll come to this website here and the splash screen tells you how uh, to use the website. Um, let me just close that and uh, what you have here is a bunch of different points on the map. Just kind of a pin map showing solar installations throughout Salt Lake City. Um, but what makes this map unique is this part over here. You can calculate your solar potential. And so you can either type in an address or pick a neighborhood. I'll just pick the central city area and I'll just start zooming in here a little bit. Um, and then you come over here and you activate the solar layer. So as we simulated the sun moving through the sky, we color-coded the total solar potential red to blue based on whether it was hot or cold. Um, let me come right over into here and uh, take a look. I'll just zoom in on some of these buildings. Uh, essentially, we quantified the sunshed and uh, we could tell you the, your return on investment for any structure or any square meter of Salt Lake City. And this is relevant um, to, to model the shadows at this detail um, in areas where, like your downtown, you have a lot of buildings, or in residential areas where you have a lot of urban canopy. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at this building here. This structure, you can see part of the building is, is hot and the other part of the rooftop is cold. So I'm just going to draw a polygon on the half that's hot here and I double click and the uh, solar potential comes back over the course of the year we're looking at the uh, the total kilowatt hour per square meter per month here on the radiation tab if I come over to the duration tab here it shows me the total number of hours of direct sunlight and that's really important for modeling things besides photovoltaics like uh, water heat or air heat, uh, things that are maybe a little bit more affordable for homeowners. Uh, so that's generally how that works. This tab over here, the calculations tab, shows the total area of the, of the polygon that I drew and it gives me some data about the potential for that site. Um, I can scale this down to maybe just be half the area and so it says that with half that area I drew I can put up an 8 kilowatt system generating 11,000 kilowatts per year and saving 13,000 pounds of CO2. So, so kudos for Salt Lake Sustainability. 
Um, it's uh, my end of it was writing a bunch of code, and we had uh, help from uh, the state GIS lab, AGRC, and um, Utah Clean Energy. So here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun in Salt Lake City. Do -do 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 -do.